Hey guys, DTC Gaming here, and yes, this was recorded like right after my summon video for, I mean, as you can tell on my screen, so yeah, this was recorded right after the that summon video. And this video is basically the things I want in Brave Frontier, or maybe a lot more people actually, but I actually have quite a big list. <laughs> I literally written it all down, but... Yeah, just going down the list, things things that I personally would adjust or even add in Brave Frontier are like better rates because, yeah, the rates, it seems like they aren't even actually existing because, yo, I had, I mean, on this, on this summon gate, I kind of got lucky with the six Iori's. <laughs> But, Jesus, man, I can't believe I got six of them. But sometimes the rates can be complete crap, even though they're, yeah, at times 20. Like, I only managed to get, like, three Terries. Like, what? Like, I don't know. It's like, I, I feel like the rates were a lot better on this gate, but I don't know. Sometimes the rates are complete garbage, and I don't know why it's been doing that. It's, like, refreshing itself on the sun gates. But anyways, on to the next thing I want to want to add is more level up rewards because literally once you hit 350, you don't get anything from this until you get to 600 and then all those levels on the screen. It's like they should add more level up rewards because I feel like leveling up kind of doesn't have a point anymore unless you get to Heaven's Edge, which... I occasionally will get there, but it's going to take quite a long damn time. But yeah, that's basically, like, add more level up rewards, Gumi. <laughs> There's really nothing else after you hit 350, and then you basically have to get to each, like, level 100 in increment. Right? Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> so, on to the next thing that I would like to adjust is the better brave points. BP, or I don't even know what it is. Yeah, BP, the better rewards for it, because, yo, it's, I mean, like, in the beginning, it's kind of helpful, but it's like, later on the line, it's not that really good, and you need a lot of BP. <laughs> and then also the prizes, because, yo, I mean, you can make those items yourself. And mir the Mirror Masma Angelic Foil, you can get that out of Frontier Hunter. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, they, need, they should really adjust these prizes because... <laughs> I mean, the only thing that's actually worth getting is the summon ticket. But it's like, I can only get two if I wanted to right now, but... Uh, I'll save that for a later time, just when I don't have any summon tickets. Okay, my next one is... Well, they do this in Japan. Japan server is a daily gem giveaway because I mean I don't remember why because but they do a daily gem giveaway like I think they started like back in June and it's gonna end like somewhere in late August but global should do this because I know I'm a pay to win player I'm a play to win pay to win player person but it's like all to all those free to play players um That'd be very useful for them. I know that. <laughs> and, okay. That's basically it for that, but it's very useful. That would be very useful for a lot of free to play players. Because, yo, know, they can't get the money to either buy gems, buy some tickets, and stuff. And, okay. On to the next thing is the up the key hold amount. Because, yo, I'm already almost at 50, and it's. It's pretty pointless at that point because, well, half up energy isn't on right now, so I don't really do Metal Parade till then because it wastes less gems for me. But yeah, up the key amount hold to like 75, 100, I don't know. Something that I won't freaking max out. But that's basically it. Uh, this one has been a pain in the ass to me, but it's like, make. Arena and Coliseum Mephixi RNG on that basically like 
In Coliseum, I've been getting fucked over by... With my units having their BB gauge full, but they just auto-attack. Like, seriously. <laughs> I mean, I know that's RNG-based, but still. It's like, they should just, like, if they get their BB gauge full, just automatically do it. Even if it's the enemy team, like, automatically do it. Regardless. Or it's like, even make it manual, but I highly doubt they'll ever do that, because... Honestly, that's kind of cheatsy doodles. <laughs> okay, and then my next one is, well, this is on a lot of games I used to play, and watch ads, to watch ads and get free stuff out of it. Because, yo, <laughs> I sit back for a whole day and watch ads just to get free stuff. I mean, I think they might be adding that. I think they did, because I heard someone say saying you can watch ads to get energy. I'm not sure if that's a thing yet, because I haven't ran out of energy yet, so... I mean, I might test that later. I'm not sure if that's added yet, but I have seen pictures and stuff that you can watch ads to get your energy back or something like that. I'm not sure. Oh, and the next one is, whoa, bundle packs. I do buy a lot. I do buy them a lot, but... What happened, ba what happened to the gem bundle packs, man? It's like, I mean, sure, some tickets are useful and everything, but... I'd, I prefer the gem ones because, yo, I need gems. <laughs> it's like, I will keep the, I'll, I want to keep gems so I can do other stuff, like summon tickets. Uh, I mean, that's just for summoning, and then gems, you can use that for anything. It's like, the bundle packs should be gems, not summon tickets. But it's like, occasionally do gems and do summon tickets, like back and forth or something like that. I don't know. And the next thing on my list is to up the friend capacity. I mean, I do have five left. And if anyone if anyone wants to hit me up with a friend request, I still have five spaces open. Uh, just make sure you comment your name in the comment section so I actually know what your in-game name is. Because I don't want to accidentally delete your request. <laughs> but yeah, basically like up the friend list to like 150, 200, I don't know. Because I know a lot of people will have problems getting... Uh, I don't know what where, what I was saying there, but I know lots of people have problems with their friend list because it's like, what if like someone wants to add you and then you're at frail friend capacity, but you don't want to delete anyone. So it's like, oh, let's... Yeah, basically, yeah. Okay, and next on my list is Omni Old Units. Like... Um, Omni Evolution, the old units, like, seriously, it's like, they really don't have much use. I mean, they, I mean, Elsa's and Alice, they're old units, and they're still relatively useful, but, I mean, they're getting on these pretty soon, and it should be coming to global pretty soon. Hopefully in August, or maybe early September, somewhere around there, but it's like, like, the very old units, like, Falma and all of them. Like, I wouldn't mind Falma getting an Omni, but I don't know. That's, that's up to Gumi. <laughs> okay, this one, I mean, this one's quite obvious, but do this more often. <laughs> Literally, Super Honor Summon. It was like a three-week break before they did Super Honor Summon. I was like, this is taking so long because my, my honor points are just stacking up. I mean, I think I only got to like 260 or something. I mean, that's still a lot, honestly, but I still didn't manage to get a fucking Sphere Frog. <laughs> but basically, yeah, do Super Honor Summon more often, like every maybe two weeks? Like, I, three weeks, it's too long. Like, every week or two weeks or something like that, yeah. Okay, and next on my list is better Frontier Hunter rewards, like... Seriously, man. Like, all these rewards, I mean, the gems, very useful. Burst frogs, very useful. The spheres, not really. <laughs> like, the Leguan gem is kind of useless, because now we have, like, the occult, we have occult treasure, malice jewel, buffer jewel, uh, the, the raid, the raid spheres. It's like, they're, they really need to like adjust the frontier hunter rewards like the spheres are kind of pointless 
I mean, like one gem, you can upgrade that to Malice and then Buffer and then Occult. I mean, <laughs> if you want to do that. I mean, but like, seriously though, like the very first one, the Mech Sword, 5% all the parameters, weak, Mirror Masma. I mean, you get my, you get the point. Because <laughs> like a lot of the spheres are pretty useless. I mean, especially for players like me, I guess. And like a lot of the other YouTubers, like it's, I feel like it'd be very pointless just to get the spheres and then just trade them in or sell them because trading them in for merit points really doesn't give you that much. I mean, unless it's like a six star sphere or something that gives you like a thousand or something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, this, this one is also one that I'd want sooner or later is use your unit as a leader. Cause like. But if you're doing Frontier Hunter and none of your, like, I guess you could say, like, Avant friends are up, so you can use your own other Avant, but, I mean, that's kind of less damage because he doesn't have Dental Magnus, or however the hell you pronounce that. But yeah, it's like, I mean, you can use your own unit as a leader in uh, the Battle Simulator, I know that, but it's like for questing and Frontier Hunter, Frontier Gates, like, oh, fr oh actually, Frontier Gate, you can actually use your own unit. <laughs> I forgot about Frontier Gate because I'm pretty sure you can. But basically like Vortex and questing and all that stuff. So basically, yeah. And next on my list is better challenges. Like more merit points for them. Like Christ. Oh, I finished those two. Like the merit points are very low here. It's only like 200, 100. It's like, it's not that much. It's like you can get at least a good thousand mirror points per day doing this. I mean, sure that's okay, but it's like go to the exchange hall. You can only get like one burst frog out of the time. It's like they really should like adjust more of this, like more mirror points. I could say like five hundred possibly, or like five hundred, four hundred, somewhere around there. And also like make the challenges like more worth your time it's like how can i say this it's like depending where you are at in the game like like actually focus the challenges on them <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but yeah basically yeah that's basically what i wanted to talk that about and the next one on my list they basically did this already like up the raid drops because you can have you can be in a room with your friend, with people on your friend list, and people in your guild, and it'll raise the drop rate of raid items, so I basically don't need to talk about that anymore. But it's like, if you're by yourself, there should actually be like, a bit higher chance. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, when I was trying to farm for Doom Rings, I literally genned like, at least five times, and I only managed to get one. So, I did like 15 runs, and I only got one Doom Ring. And I killed each body part one by one, so it's like, this is bullshit. <laughs> uh, and this one is a quite big one, is stop with the damn limited time units. Jesus. <laughs> like seriously, I mean, I do end up getting the limited, limited time units, but seriously, quit it with them. It's annoying, because I would rather s summon them on a later note. <laughs> like seriously, like Ensataya, Juno Seto, they're both really good units. Sakura Miku was a really good unit. Zero, debatable, but he's still a good unit. And then Terry, Iori, all the other limited time units, they're all good, but they literally keep making them limited time units. So that's kind of annoying for like the free to play players. I mean, unless they get really lucky with the summon gate. But basically, yeah, just stop with the limited time units. Quit making them limited time. Especially back to back. Like, literally. Like, they did Ensataya and Junoseto. And then I think right after that, it was the Vocaloids and then Sakura Miku. And then right after that was Zero. And then after that was King of Fighters collab. Like, God, quit it with the limited time units. And. My next one on the list is doing 
three gem summons like in Japan? Like seriously, why aren't they doing this in global? Is global just that greedy? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's like also like Japan also has like the the rare summon, the three gem rare summon, like the ones you get like three, four stars out of. I mean, they should add that. And oh god, my next on my list is well, I was complaining about it last video, but better elk gifts from summons because yo, all I get is demonic nature, flashing spirit. And that's basically it. Like, Jesus Christ, stop giving me those damn L gifts. Give me some good ones. It's like they need to do it like Japan. Like, actually have the chance to get like a three star and up L gift. Like, do that. I don't want no demonic nature. Or I don't want no flashing spirit. Although it is kind of good, but I have. But units can basically do that for the whole team, so it's pointless. I mean. Yeah, basically up the rate of better L gifts instead of giving us the garbage one star and two star L gifts. I mean, the only one I, the only one that was actually good was the or Earth Oracle and the Tablet of Protection, the fifty percent boost to defense. That was basically it for that other video. That's basically the only two good L gifts I got. And yeah, the next one on my list, I did not expect they were gonna actually gonna actually add this, but the fast forward button. I didn't. I actually had it on my list before they added it because when I read the maintenance uh, list of what they were adding, they, I saw fast forward button. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know they were actually gonna do that. Huh. Well, I don't know. And then the next one on my list is Super Karma Dungeon more often. Like I know we recently did it like two weeks ago. Yeah, or so. I mean, do it more often because I want to get to level 999 as fast as possible. <laughs> Oh wait, yeah. And my next one on my list is on the Elgif dungeon when I don't have like any fodder units. When I don't have like fodder units to farm or like anything else to waste my energy on, I just do this. But the thing is, the drop rate is like 15%, 20% only on the last one. It's like I actually increase the drop rate on that like at least I don't know, 40% maybe. It's like the drop rate is so low. It's like I've, I've ran it like 10 times at once. Once, and I've only gotten like two Elgifs at the time. I mean, it is like 20% drop rate, so like two out of 10, that's 20%. But raise the drop rate of them and actually like give us the more rare ones for that too. I mean, I know they have that the super, the, the Elgif dungeon, the one that's like 100 energy. But it's like sometimes the Elgif doesn't even drop. But that's awkward. that's very annoying, honestly. Okay, so the next one I have on my list is, well, <laughs> unit trading because, I mean, <laughs> look at all the units I have. I have a lot of dupes. I mean, look at the zeros, man. I have thirteen. Like I could give these zeros to a lot of people. I mean, with Ensataya too. I mean, I only need like three, and that's basically it. I mean, I have a lot of dupes, and I wouldn't mind giving them away. But, I mean, I mean, unit trading could be overpowered, but it's like, like put it at a level, like a certain level, and limit the trading. It's like, and then that, and then it'd be fine, because you wouldn't, people wouldn't be getting OP units as much like you can only trade with this person for like a month I mean it'd make it too OP if it was like a week or something per week you can trade with this person per week it'd be too OP and knowing Gumi they'll probably never add that also and the last one on my list is more auto battle settings uh, let me let me go to the battle simulator but Basically, what I mean by this is, might as well just bring up my mice. <laughs> what I basically mean by this is, this auto battle, like it's only three, so it's like it's very little, and 
I need, I could use more <laughs> because I really have a lot of other methods of the auto battle. Like this is just for like farming or anything with my buffoons, and then these two are just whatever. <laughs> but that's basically what I mean by that. Also, that's basically it at that point. I mean, it's like I I want a lot of these things added, but. Uh, I don't know what Gumi will do later on. I mean, isn't the... Th was it second anniversary last time? Yeah, I think it was. The, the third anniversary of Global's coming soon, I think. I don't know if it's third or fourth or something. I don't know. I, I think I'm pretty... I started playing when it was the anniversary, which was... Player info. Records. Yeah, 285 days ago, so that was like back in October? Yeah. So it's all, it hasn't even been a year I've been playing yet, but I am like 403. <laughs> but basically, it's like, hopefully they do the same exact thing they did in Japan. Like give us that free Omni unit, Vita. I'm pretty sure that's what his name was and it's super hot in my room. Oh God. Anyways, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And tell me what else you guys would add in the comments comment section. I was about to say the comment description. <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, this video is getting too long. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.